That's the, is that how they carry the artifact? Yeah. Can you film you, we, we can't yes. have any photos of these. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry. He kept the original song because his grandfather brought it back. And he said, loot. We loot these things. We went there. He used the word loot. In fact, I'm going to get a copy of it and I may share it with you. Oh, it just feels like it's part of the history that should be shared. It should be shared. Because yeah, the, the, the difficult history we have to be able to tell people. So the mistakes are learned from. But also, it's the respectful thing. These need to be returned. What is the main essence about this being returned back and forth? It's the most important thing is that these were looted in 1897. Um, they don't belong here. They need to go back so that the people of Benin can enjoy them, people of Nigeria can enjoy them. And the most wonderful thing is, you know, by being chair of the Hollywood Museum, is seeing that we've gone through a really serious process. We've consulted our community, we've consulted members of the diaspora here who live in southeast London, and they were passionate about the fact that these needed to go. But the great thing is we've learnt by having them here. And that's why having a relationship with the NMM in uh, Nigeria, the museum they're being returned to, is so important because we need to carry on with that cultural exchange yes. so that we can yeah. learn yeah. about yeah. each other's history. I want to ask a quick question. Mm. Now, when you did the, uh, the people who were not happy, these are all mainly English people, the focus groups and stuff that you used in order to, to move this motion across. These are not Nigerians. No, th th this is why we sort of did a really good piece of work. You know, the, the team looked at this very carefully, they looked at the cultural sensitivities. And it was sort of wonderful that lots of school children actually who had you know, relatives who grew up in Nigeria, they had Nigerian grandparents. It meant something that we were doing the right thing by returning them. And we had a lot of support from the Charity Commission, from DC Lesson, the Department to this. Um, and but the Holliman took the initial decision. This was contested history. This was history, actually, these pieces should be returned from where they came. Wonderful, wonderful. Now uh, now we hear sound bites about this lawn green. Mm. Tell us what you know about this. Yeah, sure. So tonight, six pieces, um, including these you can see, are going to be returned to Nigeria straight away. The other 66 pieces um, that we have, they're going to remain here for the next 12 months as the museum uh, in Nigeria looks at how they'll be able to safely store them and eventually um, show them as well. So, you know, it's the beginning of the process. But I like to see this at the beginning of a new relationship yes. with the museums um, in Nigeria because the wonderful thing here is we should be learning from this, the cultural exchange, so we can all kind of appreciate the beauty and the craftsmanship. But these, these, these are also spiritual places, and they have a place, uh, not here in London, but back uh, in Nigeria. In, in, have, you, have you been to Nigeria, if I ask? Uh, the one of the things I've now been invited uh, to go to Nigeria, to go to Benin City, I, it's an opportunity I would relish, because you know I'm very fortunate to be part of the museum team here. But it's important that when I then talk about you know, these artifacts, you know, and I talk about the decision we took to make sure they were returned, you know, I want to be able to put them in the context of actually having been to Nigeria and seen them and understood a little bit more about the culture that they represent. A bit more rounded, you know, yeah, you do totally. that way. I, Absolutely right. And your final, my final mm. word to you is, what is your word of advice to other museums who haven't taken the same step? Yes, yeah, so, good one. So I think, first of all, recognize actually there is a contested history and therefore you need to approach this with respect and you need to go out there and you need to do your research and you need to engage people and you need to engage people like we did here at the Honeymoon Museum we engaged our members we engaged our staff we engaged experts in the field and we engaged school children uh, engaged those people from the local who represented the diaspora of Nigeria and through that process, you realise actually you are custodians of something very important to people. People genuinely care about these objects. And if you go through that process, you will probably find, that, as we did, that there will be items that you feel really rightfully should be returned. But returned with a new relationship yes. with the museums. So you can carry on, hopefully, exchanging things on loan and therefore learning from these. So because we are a world, and once it's getting smaller, with connectivity yes. and engagement, so actually being able to really understand 
other countries, other cultures, other nations. A lot of it starts with pieces, beautiful pieces like this, uh, and it inspires the conversations like we're having tonight. Let me say to you, from from a Benin man, from an Edo man, where this come from, 125 years on, uh, wrongly brought here. I'm glad to shake your hands that things are going in the right direction. The pleasure is mine. Thank you so much for coming. And I'm looking forward to your people enjoying these as we've done here. And I've learnt a great deal from having them. And I know lots of people here in London as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. (laughs) Good on camera.